one-time money to fund ongoing programs is a disaster and across the board cuts most likely will occur next year. With, with the revenue estimating conference just coming out, you don't have to use one-time money. You can use ongoing money to do this. And and to poor mouth this and say I'm not poor mouthing you know, it. You know because I've got family and I've got friends friends in the education community. Right. So don't but say you that. know that's an incorrect statement. You know at one time I'm not going just to once, take that. You know Julie Stoic. I've been a member of League of Women Voters for many, many years. My husband and I moved here in 1976, and I've always been so impressed with our representation from this area to Des Moines. Uh, all of our representatives have been very, very responsive to our needs, and I find these forums extremely helpful in understanding the needs of all of the communities here in Siouxland. My name's Pat Hammerstrom. I'm the co-president of the Sioux City League of Women Voters. So today you had a legislative forum with right. three of the representatives. Right. The purpose or the intent of the forum? Well, the intent of the forum is to help keep the people in, in Siouxland appraised of what's going on down in the legislature. And uh, I thought that went very well today. There were a large variety of questions on a variety of issues and uh, our legislators are very well informed about what's happening and they're able to articulate that. And as Ann Knudsen said, it made, uh, you know, they, she understood what was going on down there much better from coming to these sessions. So. Um, my name is uh, State Representative Dave Dawson. I represent House District 14, the west half of Sioux City, and I am a newly elected legislator um, in 2012. So today was the League of Women's um, Town Hall meeting. Um, do you find it useful and helpful for interaction with the local residents? Yeah, I really appreciate having an opportunity to hear from constituents back here in Sioux City about what their priorities are, what their concerns are, and making sure I have an opportunity to educate them on, on the work that we are doing in, in the State House this year. Any thoughts, takeaways from today's meeting? Um, I, I heard about some concerns in some of the other areas that I had not uh, heard about on some of the, the, the water quality issues. That's not a subcommittee or a committee that I serve on, so it's, it, it sounds like it's definitely something that needs uh, more close, uh, closely looked at this year before they finalize that strategy. My name is Ann Knudsen. And you're a member of the League of Women Voters? Oh, a new member, actually. I just joined in the fall. You came here today from why? Well, um, this is the first year I've actually come. I've heard about the forums for many years, but I have never come because I thought politics would be boring. <laughs> and I started coming in January, so I've come to three in a row, and I've just been fascinated by the whole process, and I've learned so much. Um, really learned about the challenges that our, our legislators have in terms of budget constraints and things like that. So I've learned um, and respected better, I think, what they are going through in terms of coming up with appropriate legislation for for us as, as their constituents. And I'm really impressed with the, the ones that we have representing us locally. They're doing a good job. In position? Sure. Uh, Chris Hall, state representative for House District 13, which is Sioux City and Concord Township. So um, these forums that the League of Women Voters hold every so often, do you find them helpful to connect with the, uh, the local residents? I find it extremely helpful and for a variety of different reasons. Uh, the people who typically attend these forums are well informed and also very interested in what's happening in the legislature. And so it ends up being a two-way conversation. Uh, oftentimes we're providing them with information or updates as to maybe some different actions the legislature has taken or the status of certain bills, but at the same time they offer a lot of input and feedback on something that they agree with us on and are supportive of or potentially things that they might see a little bit differently. Um, in years past I've attended these forums and come away with different amendments or bills that I've filed simply by way of, of hearing an idea or suggestion that would not have occurred to me, but obviously it's important to somebody here in the audience. 